Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be in the Chafalai Basin, taking a subscriber that's never been Sakale fishing. His name's Tavarius Haywood. Y'all stay tuned, see how he does. I was raised down the little wow. sea, down on the black bayou, where we like our swamps and alligators. Nobody never been Sakale fishing. Got that feeling and he was putting him in the boat. It's like he's done it all his life. <laughs> It's our feet dancing when you hear that little play. We love to hear that Cajun music down at the fair door door. Dancing with our sweethearts and just letting the good times roll. We know it's got first and in our family and friends. All right. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a music and a thing. Swing him here, I'll get him for you. You got him? Got him. That's a white one. White, white crop. You see the stripes on him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they typically a little bit longer body. Right here. Look at here, guys. Mm. That's that's a good one. That's a good one. Good job. Thank you, thank you. It's gonna fry up good too. What? <laughs> we gotta hit some when we get home, man. Oh yeah. Let's get some more. Let's do it. Yeah, that's a good area back there. Fish with them little grass shrimp in them days. Right. We'd use them grass, pull up the one tree, you didn't know what you was gonna catch. You catch socket, goggle eye, bass, everything. Yeah. It's been years since I fished socket. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get this out for it. Look at this one. Ooh, good fish. Look at here, guys. I'm gonna turn it around. Big, nice big. one, man. Good job. The camera should be on him instead of oh, he me. He got hit by something. Right there's your spot, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty good one, too. Good fish. Mm -hmm. Not a bad one. There you go, he's on it. Chirp, you see that? You saw how it laid up? Nice, dude. That's a good <laughs> fish, dude, right there. Nice fish. We're not gonna let this one get out. On the little green head jig, guys. Good fish, man. Good fish, yes sir, appreciate it. All right. Look at here. A little bit better one too, right here, look. Good fish. Good one there. Pretty good fish right there. 
there's a big brim. Wow! Pretty brim. See that one did the same, like it just laid up and it, it didn't take it under. That's a decent fish. It was frar. Give y'all each one if y'all want to try.
want to catch about 20. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, I got to get you another float. The pig's not. And this is how you work it. Make it jump. Look, he's on there already. You make it, you just kind of twitch it and you let it pause for a second. While it's pausing, that's when they go hit it. And they don't take it under. You don't wait for them to go under with it. When it jumps or lays up top, watch. There you go, good fish too, boy, good fish. Get him, T-Wood. Nice, man. Another magnolia. Look, it's got the stripe down the nose. Got one? You got a brim. You did? Get him, baby. Get him, baby. Good one. Big one. Oh, reel him a little more before you swing him. As hard as you can. Swing him up. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Dude. I guess we got about half right here. Uh, I think we got a hundred, brother. Yeah, I think we do too. We, we, we might have came short a couple fish. We didn't want to take a chance. We did count them, but just in case. I think we got 98, two catfish. About 10 brim. 10 brim Big and brim. one bass. So mm -hmm. we had a good trip, man. Yeah. We had a great trip. Mm -hmm. Let's go start cleaning these fish now. We kept a good mess of these small ones because y'all know that's my favorite. Uh, we'll scale them, we'll cut the head off, I'll put some slits. This size right here, they're so good to eat. Uh, we'll, we're also going to scale some and then we'll rip the fillets off the bone. Y'all have seen me do that in other videos. So we're going to fry some like that, fry some whole, and we're also going to fry some fillets. So y'all stay tuned, we'll get this cooking a little bit. here look at that there's no the meat comes out around the ribs I mean look at this it, you don't lose any meat it's just not a big fillet it's gonna fry real crunchy let me show you again so come through and then when you come through just rip it off and this fin's gonna fry up and be crunchy you can eat the fin There's one pass right there slip right there Ones that we're gonna fry whole. Like to put a couple slits in them like this. The seasoning gets down in the meat. And we'll throw them in here. So I like to do just come right here. Pop that out with your thumb. Two slits. All right, the little bit bigger fish, we're gonna go ahead and fillet some of these. Okay, man, they 
I'll take the rib off in a second. <laughs> All right, look what we ended up with. Tabarius pulled his weight today. I think you caught, I mean, I think he caught as many as I did. Yeah. I, I, I think we each caught about 50, so yeah. you did a great job. I think job. that's fair. Look, okay, so we're going to fry some of these whole. Here's all the smaller ones with the skin on it. He's probably real crunchy, and here's some where we took the skin off. Uh, we'll be sending him home with a bunch of fish. The wife is going to appreciate that. The wife's going to be happy. <laughs> all right, well, let's let's fry a little bit up. Let's do it, bro. Get it rolling. All right, let's do some French fries. How quick is that? I don't think we're going to eat big, that many. That's a bunch of potatoes right here. We're going to try. To cook, let's go ahead and season the fish up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the cape red, my seasoning. Uh, thank everybody for the support. A lot of people been buying it. So let's go ahead and hit this up. I like to get it in those cracks. All right. Some people like to pat their fish dry. I, I really don't. I don't like to do that. I like to season it just to kind of melt around the fish. You know, everybody has their own way, but you see how it kind of really distributes the seasoning well. All right, so we got the fish seasoned. Right, let's take the fries out. Some good fresh fresh fries we cut ourselves. All right, we're gonna hit it with the K Fred. This is this is what makes it good right here. It's not French without. That's not, right. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not French fries without the Fred. You you Fred on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Saw the seasoned fish. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use my buddy's fish fry. And I've been using it, it's good stuff, fried egg. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty good fries, Kevin. All right, let's start frying some fish. Hey, this was swimming what three hours ago? Three hours ago. Three hours ago. <laughs> swimming in Greece now. <laughs> I'm excited. It's been over 15 years since I had Sakale. 15 years? 15 years when I was a kid. Wow. And it's been my favorite fish ever since. And you said you hadn't ever sockley fish ever? Ever. So he's never been sockley fish. Ever. And he was putting them in the boat. It's like he's done it all his life. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I showed him the technique. I said, okay, I'm explain what it's going to look like, the bite. I mean, he's a great listener because, I mean, he was doing everything perfect, putting them in the boat. All right, we got Tim in the house. I'm back. He's back. He shows up to help film. Kevin and was cooking, so I decided to show up again. <laughs> That's what all I do is show up. He gets his free meal, but he does help with the film, and, and I appreciate that. Not a bad price to film. 
These are getting pretty brown. These are about to come out right here. Yeah, Tim, if you want to shake them, you can go ahead and it's about the color we want. Dude, those are going to be good. Those are crunchy. <clears throat> All right, let's do the whole ones. These are my favorite. Y'all know that. You don't want to overload this little frog. Uh, for the small socolay, it's probably perfect. You're going to get the fins crunchy and... Uh, gonna be good we're about to show T wood right here how we do this fish sandwich I was talking about it today on the water mm -hmm. this is some good stuff all right Tim look there's nothing like fresh eventually made bread uh, all right so I got a little mayo this is a huge thing of ketchup all right about like this yeah. Might be hot, I'm not sure. Mm. Look, Kenny, see if I can do it. How is it? That man is the trick. Dude, mm -hmm. the mayo and a little bit of ketchup with skin crunches on that fresh bread. Oh my god. Spread it out. And put it like that. Oh, there you go. Like, this is the bomb, guys. Y'all need to try this. It's got a nice crunch. Man, it's good, huh? That's good. So, thanks, y'all, for catching them. <laughs> <laughs> hey. They took all of you. <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy these two right here. One of them, in it. All right, these are done. Look how pretty brown these are right here. And y'all have seen in the other videos, I don't use paper towels much. These little screens work so good, the grease falls through. The air gets around the fish and the fries. It keeps everything crunchy. I think I got this at Targill and Opelousa. Just... Also, I've seen them at Academy. It's like a, a beef jerky drawing tray. Also works good. But you can't beat them. Everything stays good and crunchy. You don't get the sogginess. Okay, so I got a whole fish, and a lot of people, I don't know if they do this, but this is pretty good. <laughs> we definitely do it down here. That's the best part, the fin. You don't go all the way down. Just take the tips off, and it's like a crackling. It's pretty good. All right. Yeah, it's still kind of hot, but like Timmy said, the fin's a... Can you hear the crunch? Okay, so when I get that done, I like to peel this back fin off right here. I'll take the bottom one off too. Okay, you put those slits, it gives you something to grab. Something about that bone, it gives it that extra flavor. Look guys, this is why I don't throw all these little ones back. That's my favorite fish right there. Thawed. Okay. First time I ever had that? It is. It is. I can dig it. Okay. Where are you from again originally? Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> and I don't know if I said this today. T. Woods is a news anchor in Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. He's been here, I think, what, four years? How many mm -hmm. years you said? Just a year. Oh, just one year yep. he's been here. And I think he's loving the food. and Loving uh, the food, loving the culture, loving it all. Y'all go check him out. Channel what? 44, I believe mm -hmm. you said? Yep. 44. Y'all go check him out. Also, he's on Facebook, Instagram. I think he's on TikTok. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, tell T us a little bit about that. T-Wood TV. Still trying to build up the channel a little bit. It's just right now, we just a few 
uh, food videos of me and my family eating throughout Memphis. And uh, we got one video here in Louisiana where we went around Louisiana, uh, well, Baton Rouge, and ate a few food spots. It was pretty cool, pretty cool. But good, we are good. loving Louisiana. We love the South. We love the culture. Because I'm from um, Memphis, Tennessee. My wife, she's from West Palm Beach. So we're just glad to be back in the South. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I did check the channel out. Love it. Just subscribe to your channel, I think, last week. So I will be keeping up with all your stuff. I appreciate it, bro. And thank you for taking me out. I appreciate it. Anytime. Anytime. We enjoyed it. We had a blast today. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys for coming along with us today. We had a blast on the water. We're going to sit here and eat the rest of this fish. Uh, fries, too. The French fries are really good. All right, T. Wood, you be careful going home, brother. I'm glad Thank you made you so the trip much. with us. Thank You're welcome. You. We'll do it again one day. Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. <laughs> I'm just going to need to pick a bag of ice up. Okay. Alright, take care, man.